What's going on YouTube? Gene's here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we'll have back onto the ranked double ladder with this rain team. Yep, another rain team for you guys. I know I showed off a Politoed and Kingdra rain team in the past, but that was casual battles. So we got another one for you guys to show off on that rank ladder. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, you guys rock. Thank you guys for all the support that has been going out on the channel. Everybody who views the videos, everybody who likes them or subscribes to the channel, every single part goes a long way you guys seriously are amazing but rocking out on the scene we got our normal guy we got polytoed over here with that damp rock and drizzle just to set up the rain has scald helping hand protect and icy wind normal little polytoed moveset just to set that rain we got mimikyu which is awesome because mimikyu started to like die off ever since the new pokemon came out but this team includes him in here he has disguise life orb trick room to kind of counter it or if i want to roll it he has shadow sneaker first turn priority and stab play rough for big old stab and sword stance to set up that big bulky physical attack stat so we can get rolling with that then we got kingdra the big old swift swim kingdra everyone loves this pokemon definitely one of the cooler isle of armor pokemon with Swift Swim and Choice Spec, so we can choice into a move, or I can Dynamax out of it with Hydro Pump, Draco Meteor, both for Stab, Ice Beam, and Hurricane that hits 100% of the time in the rain. We also got Toxtricity over here, Punk Rock ability, and Choice Scarf to give it that nice little speed boost with Overdrive, Sludge Bomb, Boom Burst, and Snarl. And Snarl with a lower special attack. Then we got my boy Scissor. Everyone loves Scissor, dude. I'm a big fan of Scissor, especially uh, once I saw him that he was coming into Isle of Armor, I was like, yo, I gotta get a team with him. He's so good. He has Technician as his ability, which is such a strong ability we choice ban him on this team with bullet punch super power u-turn or dual wing beat all great moves just got to make the right decision when choice banning him then in the final spot is probably one of the best pokemon in the game right now we got grassy surge real boom it is so strong it has fake out wood hammer for big stab damage especially in the grassy surge it gets that 1.3 times multiplier alongside with the stab damage knock off take off items and grassy glide which is a hard hitting first turn priority move in the grassy surge and then it gets that boost with the uh, 1.3 multiplier for the surge it also has that soul vest so it can actually live longer so real boom like i was just saying i think he's one of the best so far in this uh competitive right now same thing with cinderace I, th I think they're like top two they've been so strong and absolutely been dominating this meta but guys you want to use this team for yourself rental code is at the bottom screen i'm ready to go i'm ready to rock out with rain teams you guys know i love it so let's hop on to into some ranked battles and get some wins with this squad guys we have some problems here first battle we have the exact same team. We're going up against legit the exact same team. Same rental code probably. But we're going to catch this win. We are going to catch this win. Um, who should I go into first turn? First turn. I mean, if he goes rain squad, I could go Rillaboom and roll from there. Go Rillaboom into Toxtricity and then bring my own rain squad. I don't even think I'd bring Polito. I think Polito would just be a waste of a spot because I feel like he's going to bring it. So, I said we go Rillaboom. Rillaboom first turn is always working out well. We can set the surge. I can go into a nice little grassy glide, whatever I want. I could go into Toxtricity as well, but everything's gonna be a speed tie. I gotta remember that. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. I think I go Toxtricity. Kingdra and Mimikyu? Kingdra and Mimikyu? Yeah, I think Kingdra and Mimikyu. Let's get it. Let's get rolling here. Come on, baby. Mirror matchup for battle number one? Come on. Come on. I gotta clutch this one up and get that win for the boys. But you guys are enjoying the content or if you guys want to catch more content from me hit that link in the description below jeans 25 on twitch hit that follow button turn on notifications you guys already know the deal we stream four to three to four plus days every single week so come hang out ask questions and come support the online gaming community over at jeans twitch page <laughs> but it goes mimikyu and uh little boom so do i think my fake out's gonna come first what is gonna happen here and what do i choice into I might just choose into an overdrive. Definitely gotta fake out. Fake that thing out. And then. Boom, boom, boom. I think overdrive is our best bet. I am gonna choose into an overdrive. Knock off that disguise and roll from there. He wins the speed tie and he gets the fake out on me. That's whack, yo. That is whack! Get out of here! Game trash! He's gonna go for a trick room. This is nothing. Trick Room does absolutely nothing, buddy. We are all the same speeds. <laughs> but now Mimikyu is going to be faster than my uh, extra, so you probably take him out here. But Rillaboom and what's called are still speed tie. I'm going to take off this guy's on you. I'm going to go for an overdrive. So obviously, Texture Seat is going to go last. So that might have helped him out. It's kind of like half and half. But he goes for that trick, baby. <laughs> Grassy guy comes out. We're going to take off 
yo, little disguise. I'm not messing with you anymore. Get that disguise out of here. Hopefully, we can get off an overdrive, but I don't think it's happening. I really do not think it's going to happen. And he's going to go into a grassy glide as well. <laughs> Hit all my toxicity. Toxicity eats up. And what's Mimikyu going for? Mimikyu's going for that sword stance. I think we might be fine here. Overdrive comes off into another grass guy. Could potentially take that thing out. Let's see. Let's see. How much damage you done to that thing? Mm. Okay, not bad. Not bad, but definitely another grass guy's got to pop out. You got to get after that thing. Let me check that Mimikyu's speed. Let me check the Mimikyu's speed real quick. I mean, let me just check it real quick. I have a Mimikyu on me. Let's let's see the Mimikyu speed real quick. So this one's 118. What is the Robin at? 105. So that thing is faster. This is a G Max Robin as well. So I could G Max up and go into G Max Jump Shot. What does this even do? This move can be used on targets regardless of the ability. I could have just dumped on that thing. I could have just dumped on him, but hmm. do I go into a Wood Hammer? I am I am faster than that thing in Trick Room, so I'm going to dump on this thing with a Wood Hammer. Then I'm just gonna drop another Overdrive. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. Grassy guy comes out here. He's gonna go try to take out my Rillaboom. That's totally fine. Rillaboom will go uh, next and be able to take out you. So Swords Dance is gone. Get that thing out of here. I made sure I used Wood Hammer to make sure I take that thing out. I'm not dealing with it. I'm not dealing with it. And we get off a nice little Overdrive here. And this thing, can this paralyze? I don't think it can. I don't think it can. But we're gonna do a little bit of damage. We're just choosing to it right now. We get a little bit of HP back. We should get a teensy bit of HP back. Show me going into like Polytoad or something. Set the rain for me. I love you. No way he goes into Polly though. Not a chance. With Toxtricity and Robo out on the field. With the Grassy Surge going on. Like, nah, you have not a chance. If he does, he's stupid. <laughs> Unless he's trying to just bait a move, but I just don't see it. I just don't see it happening. He goes to the scissor. Skizzy Wizzies. Okay, so scissors are gonna pop out here. Choice band has choice band into a move. And uh bum, bum, bum. I said we just knock off uh, this thing's assault vest so I don't have to deal with it later. Then I have to go into an overdrive. Because I am choice. Too many choice Pokemon. Too many choice Pokemon on the field. So what is... Scissor's probably going to go into an Exeter. It is the slowest. And he's probably going to take on my real boom. I can bet that is exactly what's going to happen. He's probably going to pick up the double kill. Or he just died in Exeter. Okay. He's still going to probably still pick up the double kill. But I'm going to come out here with rain. But still, the Swift Swim isn't going to be helping us out. He's coming out here. Dynamax and big boy Skizzy. Look at him. He looks phenomenal. I love Mega Scissor and how Mega Scissor always look. But first battle, I don't know how this one's going to turn out. I think it's going to be close. I think it's going to be close. But I definitely think he's going to pick up the double kill here. Grassy guy comes in. Unless Toxtricity eats us. Okay, so no double kill for him. Toxtricity is going to be able to get off an overdrive. He's going to lower our special attack and take out really Real boom, gone. Real boom, gone. If that was a special attacker, maybe we would have survived. But nah. Super effective stab. He gets a minus one special attack. And I get off a shot. I do get off a shot. This is tough, man. I don't know who I should go into. I mean, maybe I should just go into, uh, it doesn't matter. I don't need, uh, what's called with the rain. I don't need Polytoad with the rain or Kingja with the rain right now. I'm just going to go Kingja. Oh, I don't even have him. I have Mimikyu. Do I Dynamax Mimikyu? I think I Dynamax Mimikyu. And bring Kingja in the back end for later. Yeah, let's Dynamax Mimikyu. Let's get Mimi Mimi Poos up in here. He could go into a Steel Spike, which sucks. Could go Grassy Glide Steel Spike. Which I honestly think he's going to do. So there might not even be a point for me. I think Shadow Sneak's our best bet. He's going to take us out. So I shouldn't even Dynamax here. Let's just keep doing this and save my Dynamax for my Kingdra. Let's watch. Grassy Glide should be coming out here. Yeah, Grassy Glide onto you. And he's going to Steel Spike. So luckily I did go for a Shadow Sneak to at least get off a shot before I do roll out here. That was like more so an obvious play. Uh, deal with it, man. Get out of here. Shadow Sneak coming out here. Yeet. Do some damage. Nope. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> Got me on lockdown here. Here comes Steel Spike. Like I said. Like I said, Steel Spike rolling out. I saw that coming all day. So luckily I didn't Dynamax. Luckily I just didn't Dynamax. But your boy, your boy thought a little bit before making the play. I think Trick Room's starting to get over soon. It should be over soon. Maybe one more turn? It's just helping the scissor out a lot. Get off another overdrive that's doing nothing. And they get some HP back. So, best bet here would be going to my uh, Kingdra, Dynamax hit, and is Trick Room gone? I need to, I need to know. I think Trick Room has one more. We'll see. 
Please show me it doesn't have one more. Okay, beautiful. It is open now, so I'm gonna start taking speed advantage. We have speed advantage now. So I'm gonna go Kingdra. I think I'm going to uh, Dynamax go into an Airstream, take out Rillaboom. He's probably gonna go for a Grassy Glide. No lie. I do some work before he does roll out. But definitely an Airstream here. Or I can just set the Geyser. Geyser would be good. Lower attack. We're faster. We are the fastest here. Hmm. We are fastest, and we will be fastest the whole time, so. I say I just Dynamax, and I go into a, uh, a worm one here. Lower attack. Take out Rollboom. And then go into an overdrive here. I think that's our best bet. Lower that Scissor's attack. Just get it out of here. Because I can always set the rain later. Like, I know his team's speed, and the fastest Pokemon on the team is Kingdra. So... Right? Yeah, it is Kingdra. So I do not even need the boost speed. I do not need to boost speed. There's no speed ties out. Well, fast Pokemon would be, uh, you know who. Whatchamacallit. What is his name? Toxtricity. But, we're chilling. So, Overdrive comes out again. No more Trick Room for you. And then my Worm Wind should come second. Take out the real boom, and then I'll uh, give that attack drop on the scissor, which is actually big for us. That's going to help us out a little bit. I don't know if he goes after my Kingdra. It leaves my Toxtricity hanging around here for a little bit. Give him another turn. I'll take it all day. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got, kid. What are you going to go for? He's going for the Flutterby. He's going to lower our special attack. And... Okay, go after Kingdra. That's totally fine. Lower our special attack. So, what's called is minus two. And we are minus one. I should say minus two. Kingdra's minus one. This one's going to be close. This one's going to be close. I think Dynamax and Scissor was a good call by him. Kingdra here, though. Kingdra's here to hang out. Have some fun. He goes Polyturn. Sets the rain for us. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. He gets the drizzle rolling. The drizzle whizzle. The drizzle wazzle whizzle. I can't believe he just brought Polyton. Like, why just Polyton? I'm a little confused. Got Swift Swim rolling and he sets a rain for us, which is just wonderful. Just dandy. Uh, I'm going to go into the geyser over on here and I'm going to just drop in overdrive. Let's get it. Come on, baby. Come on. We're looking good now. We're sitting pretty. We're sitting so pretty. Here comes a bullet punch. Ah! Leave me alone, bullet punch. We're still sitting fine even if we die, yeah. Because Geyser should come out here, take out the uh, the Scizor. And then we should have first turn priority next turn. And Polytoe doesn't hit too, too hard anyway. He does have an Ice Move. He does have an Ice Move, which is Icy Move. Which slows us down a little bit. But still, in the in the rain, we should be chilling. We should totally be chilling. Let's see what he goes into. It's got to be Icy Wind, right? Yep, Icy Wind comes out. How much damage is it really doing? Poo-poo damage. Poo-poo damage. Not even super effective. Not even super effective. Come on, man. What you want? Drops our speed, though. And then, um, best bet would be go Warm one. Get that stab damage rolling. Stab damage. Oh, yeah. First match looking good. I don't know why he brought the Polytoad. I'm really confused with the Polytoad. With the Polytoad part. If you didn't bring King Joe, why are you bringing Polytoad? A little confused there. A little confused. We do some nice damage there. Like, all I gotta do is just survive a couple turns. He's gonna go for another Icy Wind. We're gonna eat that one up again. And then I could go into another Worm one. Or do I just drop a Draco Meteor? I can choice spec now, so this move should potentially take out. Just drink a meter. With the choice spec boost. Come on, what you want, fool? We coming after you. Should be game. Should be game. Should be going 1-0 in this first battle. Beautiful. Dropping this big old Draco Meteor. Coming in. Yeah, you get him. Doom dirty. Doom dirty. Doom dirty, baby. <gasps> oh my lord. I swear, if this dude like crits me or something, I'm going to cry a little bit. Let's see what happens here. What's happening? What's happening? Okay. Phew. Oh my lord. Actually, our speed's down. Our speed is down. I swear. If this dude comes out and crits, this thing's 100% in the rain. So, I'm uh, actually, I'm only choice expecting to trick a meter. This thing's on one HP. If he outspeeds me and we miss. Okay, there we go. Okay, never mind. Thank the lord. Thank the lord. I was going to freak out and just, oh my lord. That would have been terrible if we would have lost this on one HP because this poly dude surviving. But, yo, GG to this guy. We go 1-0 in battle number one. Now we can hop into battle number two and keep showing off this rain team. We already know what's going on here. This guy's got an Ndidi and an Alkazam. He's trying to set up that Psychic Surge and go into Expanding Forces. We're going to say, nah, we, we, we're not letting that happen. He has a Trick Room team as well. He does have a Trick Room team as well, so I got to bring my slower Pokemon. So we're going to go Politoed, Kingdra, I think Scizor and Rollboom? Sizzies and Rollboom? Is that the call? Is that the call? Hmm. Who's going to set Trick Room? It's going to be the Dust Clops, if anybody. It's going to be Klopsky Clops. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Actually, do I just leave Mimikyu? This seems slow. This team is so slow. 
I mean, actually, no, I can't just lead Mimikyu. I gotta bring Mimikyu. I definitely gotta bring Mimikyu. And then I think I bring Rillaboom in the back. Rilla, Rilla, Rilla boom, yeah, Rilla boom, oh, yeah. Is it real? Do I bring Rilla? Yeah, let's bring Rilla. Let's get rolling with that one. Wait, okay, who? Wait a minute. Oh, Polito's gotta go. Polito, get out of here. Wait a minute. Oh my god, Every no, everything's messed up. Let's draw you, and then I go real boom, and everything's messed up. Everything is messed up. I don't even know where I made a mistake at, but still, it's fine. It's fine. We got the team rolling. We, we should be fine. Give me my King Gen Polito. Let me see who they give us. I'm gonna make the most of this battle anyway. I feel like I do that way too much. I feel like I always, uh, like, miss the time limit. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys do that as well. If you guys are always missing the time limit. But he goes Dust Cop to Alkazam. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. And we go Polito Mimikyu. Bruh. What kind of lead is this? <laughs> what is this? Better show me we got Kingdra. Better show me we got Kingdra. Let me see. Pokemon. Phew, we got King Joe. We do not have Rollboom, but we do have Toxtricity, which isn't too bad. Um, I'm actually set up a Swords Dance here. And then I'm going to just go into a Scald and try to just uh, do a little bit of damage over on this Alka If he sets up Trick Room here, I can totally set up Trick Room next turn. He goes for the Gleam Skis. i play by him. Do some damage over on my Polytoad. Now my Disguise is popping. My Disguise is popping. I might just Dynamax uh, Mimikyu right off the rip here. Let's see, Sword Dance comes out. Bing, bing, cling, cling, cling. And we setting up here. And we setting up. I could just go into a Shadow Sneak and leave it like that. Skull coming out. In the rain, get him. Do some damage on him. Nice work, buddy. I might just Shadow Sneak. Oh, we get the burn. Oh, we get the burn. Nightshade coming out here. Okay. Okay. I'm cool with it. I'm definitely Shadow Sneaking here. Do I Shadow Sneak? Hmm. I think I definitely gotta take out Alkazam here. And go for the Scald over on you. Keep doing work. Let's just keep doing work all around. He's gonna set up Trick Room and try to run it. But I gotta get rid of this Alkazam. I was gonna go for a Trick Room this turn, but then he would've just took out my Mimikyu, regardless, with the with just the Dazzling Gleam. So, we went with that. Mimikyu's gonna lose some HP. Skull coming out. Give me the burn on him. Give me the burn on him. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give me the burn. Nope. Oh, he goes for another Nightshade. I think we should be able to eat up this Nightshade, right? Yep. Yep, sir. Surviving on 2 HP. Definitely gotta go into another Shadow Sneak. Do some work over on the Clopsy Clops. The Clippity Clops. We're plus 2. We are plus 2 with that Sword Zance. Come on, what you want, fool? He doesn't want it. He doesn't want it. And once this Mimikyu goes down, then we roll. Then we take a roll with our Kingdra. Like he's gotta go for Trick Room right here, right? There you go here. And then I'm gonna just drop a Scald. I don't want to trigger that. I think that thing might be a weakness policy. So, I'm going to go into this. We might be able to actually take out the Dust Cops with both these moves. But we'll see in just a second. We might Dynamax to Dragalge. Dragalge is so cool. Look at him. And he's shiny. He's like blue. Looking dope. Looking phenomenal. But yeah, dude, look at Politoed. His eyes are so adorable. They're like little googly eyes. <laughs> and then he has that one little antenna, whatever that thing is, like a hair or something. This looks hilarious. Come on, make a move. Make a move, dude. I think he messed up by not going to Trick Room earlier. I think he should have went and Trick Room at least turn two, but... Eh, I don't know. We'll see. He's going to Dynamax. Okay. Very, very slow Pokemon. Dude, imagine if we take it. If we take out Dust Cops here, we, we got this one in the bag. This is my Kingdra can roll out here. Outspeed that Dragology. Drop a Worm one and say, See you later, punk. Get out of here, because Dragology is actually really, really slow. Which kind of throws me off. He looks like it's uh, a pretty fast Pokemon, or a Pokemon that can have fast speed. But here comes a Shadow Sneak. Let's get it. Get him. Get him out of here, kid. Polito should go next. How much damage are we doing here? Oh my god, Dust Cops is dead. Dust Cops is dead. We're sitting so well. We're sitting so well. Let's get it. I don't care if Polito goes down here now. Let's go. Polito connects. See you later, Dust Cops. We're sitting so good. So good, baby. No trick room from him. Like I said, he should have done it earlier. He's going to come out here and go for an ooze. Boost his uh, special attack, which is totally fine by me. Polito can go down. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. We do have... Uh, Toxtricity in the back end, so I gotta pick a nice move that we're going to, uh, that we're gonna choice into. But I know my Kingdra can, uh, do some work on that, uh, on that Dragology. Look at that. Super effective moves all around. All around. It's down to a 2v2, right? I believe so. He went Dust Cops and someone else, right? 
he went dust cops and uh yeah who, who else did he go with dust cops that we took out early on but i can't even remember it god's annoying me come on man <laughs> i can't even think of it mimic you dumped on it with a shadow sneak you took it out with but i totally forget i totally forget it's all right it's all right we're gonna go in here we're gonna warm one um he actually might protect do i just go for a boom burst i think i just go into an overdrive be your best bet boom burst now because boom burst hits that i'm just gonna sludge bomb over on the conqueror because i think my kingdra can handle this one up the jagalji and then we can just roll into our next move or roll off on that conqueror while my kingdra handles off the jagalji like i said we have speed advantage totally 100 percent because no trick room for him we outplayed him we outplayed him we told him to get out of here even though he was dumb and he should have set up the trick room way earlier but i think us setting up the sword's hands just posed such a big threat he wanted to get that out the way or maybe i think he didn't go in the trick room turn one because he thought we were going to use trick room but nah that's not happening we drop a warm one potentially dead here i think he's gone get it out of here nope this thing's a little bit bulkier but still not bad damage i don't see him taking me out in one shot with a uh warm one actually he is plus one so mm. hold up hold up gonna be a little scary give me the poison thank you <laughs> thank you for the poison Let's see what he does here drain punch comes out he doubling up. He actually might be able to take out my King Dre. Mmm. This is actually... We might be sitting tough. Let's see. You gotta go for a warm one, right? Yeah, he goes for the warm one. He is plus one. Leave me alone. Oh, he goes after Toxtricity. He goes after Toxtricity? Hold the phone. Hold the phone here. Do I have to pose up against this Jigalji? Do I have to throw an attack up on it? Or do I predict the max guard? Hmm. 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 This is tough, man. I'm trying to remember what moves my Dracology had. I think I gotta throw a guard over on it. I mean, uh, a worm went over on it, even if it does guard. He does guard. He does guard. I should have read it. But so I think I had to do it anyway. Still think that works 10 times better for us than getting hit with a max one one. Game punch comes out. We eat that up. He's minus one. Like we have speed advance all day. We have hurricane. I think we can take out real boom. Or not real boom. Conqueror in one hit. And then I got to go for another worm win over on that thing. We can minus attack and take it out. We're still sitting good. We're still sitting good. I'm so surprised he took out my what's it called in one shot. Or he, he went after my toxicity instead of going after my uh, Kingdra. I'm so surprised by that. I probably could have took it out and won the game. He was plus one. Ooh, yo, you're leaving jeans in the battle? That's a big mistake. You guys already know that's a big mistake. Worm win coming out here. Say, see you later, Jigalji. Minus and one up on that, uh, or minus and two now up on that, uh, Conqueror. And then a hurricane should just be able to dump on it. Say, see you later, do it. Oh, baby. Jeans coming up big. He coming up big, big. What you want, fool? You don't want the smoke. You don't want it. Drain punch coming out here. We eat. We eat, baby. We eat all day. I'm thinking Hurricane just takes it out, right? I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty confident. Because we didn't choice yet. We didn't choice specs yet. But we get the choice specs boost as well. Ooh! Kings are coming in clutch in battle number two again. Oh my lord. Kings are you too good. You too good, Kings are. Let's see it. Let's see it happen. Let's make it happen. Hurricane coming out in the rain 100% actually. Take him out. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Eat it. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think we lost. This thing gotta have mock punch. No! No! Just as I say, Kingsley comes up clutch. We end up losing this one. Don't go into a mock punch. Be choice bandit? Somehow? No! <laughs> Man, I thought we had a surprise hurricane didn't take out. Guess we need that stab boost. But yo, GG to this guy. We go one and one now, and now we're going to hop into our third and final battle and try to get a winning record. Third and final battle coming at you guys. We got to make up for that last battle because I seriously thought we had that win in the bag. And of course, the Hurricane does take out the Conqueror and he mock punches it and wins it. But one and one with this team. Um, who should I go in with? I think I'm going to go talk to I think he might lead uh, Incineroar. I think he might go in with that Incineroar. That's a, that's a little tough, man. Who should I go into? I could roll a Trick Room with the Mimikyu. And potentially Dynamax at uh, Skizzies. Potentially Dynamax Skizzers. How should I do this one? How should I do this one? 
I don't want to go Mimikyu. I kind of want to go Mimikyu Toxtricity. Go Scissor in the back. And then bring Robum. I'm fine. I actually might roll a Trick Room here. Now you bring Kingdra. And I'm so mad at that. I'm so mad at that. Maybe uh, the Hydro Pump would have took out. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. Do you think Hurricane was the best call there? Or do you think uh, a Hydro Pump stab in the rain would have actually killed that Conqueror? I would love to know. I would love to know. But come on. We are 1-1. One one. Sitting here trying to get that winning record. Come on, Jeans. You got this. You got this, man. Here's Roboom and Pelipper and Paloops. He's going to set the rain by himself. Um, I'm definitely... I can just go into a nice little overdrive here. Grassy Surge popping. Do I attack first? He's gonna fake me out. That's a, that's a fact. He's definitely gonna fake me out. Um, I do not think I said trick room just yet. I think I go into because I want my textures to actually get off some hits. He's gotta go for a fake out. Hmm. I might sword stance and, and might dynamax this in. Let's see. Let's just see what happens. Definitely go into an overdrive here. Actually, let me see his other Pokemon before I do choice hall. Definitely, I, it's definitely an electric. I definitely gotta go into an electric move. Let's go into overdrive here. Let's get it rolling. But yeah, I'm a sword stance here. He's definitely got he's gotta be faking me out, right? Yeah. That was hundred percent I knew that was coming. That's why I sword stance up. It's gonna be tight and nice. And we get that plus two, baby. Oh yes, sir. Yes, sir. Plus two up in here. Hopefully he doesn't take off my disguise. What's he gonna go into? A soak. He's going to soak up. He's gonna soak me, man. Why are you soaking me like that? He's my type to water. Why you gotta do, do me like that? But I still have my disguise, which is wonderful. I still have my disguise, and I know Mimikyu outspeed, so I can definitely go into a play rough. Do some big old damage to you, and then drop a nice big overdrive across the board. Just drop a nice big overdrive. He's gonna go into a grassy glide, which won't do anything because of our disguise, or he might uh, try to go for a wood hammer. But I'm fine changing with water. I'm fine changing the water typing. I'm so cool with it. <laughs> it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. It's not like you changed my ability or anything. And especially if your water Pokemon come out of here. Let's see what happens. He's gonna witch all pe Pelipper. He's gonna go into Ferrothorn, which is uh, rather smart. Probably knew I was going into it overtime, and he's gonna Dynamax really. I already know what he's doing. Smart play by him. Smart play by him. He's gonna go into a G Max Drum Solo, disregard my abilities, and hit right through my Mimikyu. But hopefully, Mimikyu. Well, Mimikyu should outspeed the same. And be able to do some work on it. Let's see. Let's just see what happens here. Look at that thing. He looks like a beast up there. Looks like an absolute beast. Overdrive comes out. Does a little bit of damage on both sides. Does a little bit of damage on both sides. And play rough comes out. Yeet. Does some nice damage. And G-Max Drum Solo is obviously coming out here and taking out my boy. He's taking out my boy. D-Max Drum Solo. Look at this thing. Well, base 160 with a wood hammer. That is nuts. That is nuts. Just dumps on my Mimikyu. Hits right through his ability. And he gets a crit as well. Just to rub it in my face. What you mean? What you mean, dog? <laughs> He's hit me hard. He's hit me hard. Okay, okay. The Ferrothorn, obviously the slowest. I think I Dynamax Scissor still. Hit him with a bunch of Flutterbys, all that good stuff. Get rolling from there. Swap for Skizzies. And we're getting this off. We're getting this off. Yeah, I gotta Dynamax him. I gotta Dynamax him. Or I could save him for the Robin, but I still think he's our best bet. Going through Flutterbys. Some work over there. And then I'm choosing to a overdrive here, so not looking too good. Not looking too good. But dude, Robum looks sick, yo. He has a whole drum set up. He's rocking out. He's just absolutely rocking out here. Look at his hands, dude. He's like, yeah, man, what you want? You know, withdraw Ferrothorn. Gonna swap into who? What are you swapping into? That's my question. Incineroar. Okay, they get that attack drop, dude. He's just he's gonna outplay me here. I think this dude has this one in the bag, man. He's setting up nice and clean. And they'll probably parting shot on me. Ah! You won't go junk. He has another fake out as well. Which was huge. I think he's just gonna absolutely just run it with this uh with this robin now. Just hit me with drum solos, all that good stuff. But big scissor coming out here. Big old skizzies. He's gonna fake out Tux just see next turn, obviously. That's a fact. That's a fact. Come on, let's get it. Overdrive comes out. Yeet! Doing a little bit of damage. Not bad damage on the incinerator. I'll take that. Darkness gonna come through. Over on who? Over on Toxtricity. Eat it up, buddy. I love you, Toxtricity. I love you. But he's probably gonna fake me out with that one. He's gonna lower my special defense. Which, mm, ah! Get off me, please! Flutterby coming out here. Get him! Get that stab damage rolling out here. How much damage are we doing? Oh, dude, if he didn't minus one us, I think we would've KO'd there. That was clutch for him. 
That was totally clutch. If he didn't minus one us, he would have KO'd them. Now the real question is, no, he's going to fake out. I was going to say, can an overdrive take it out? But he's definitely going to fake us out. Which we might be able to eat up a fake out. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. HP restored. And do I go into... Mm, definitely going to... I'm actually going to airstream, start getting speed boost. And I got to get stick with my overdrive. Yeah, definitely got an airstream here. I still have my roll boom in the back. Right? I brought roll boom. Yeah, with that assault fest. He's going to be come up clutch later. Actually, the surge might end later. Just in time for him to just get torn up on. But fake out comes out. Eat it up, Tox. Nope, Tox Trissy does not eat up. Man, I wanted him to eat up and get an overdrive off next turn. He's going to go for a max darkness over on me. My special defense is down one, but this thing's physical attacking. And we eat up. We're going to get a speed boost here from the airstream. Take out the roll boom. And we're gonna get out my roll boom, but it's kinda scared. I'm kinda scared of that thing. Of that uh that incineroar. Kinda scared of that incineroar. Hopefully we can outspeed it now and I can go for like a max knuckle and potentially take it out. Do work from there. That speed boost, even though we are minus one. That minus one's so terrible, man. Intimidate's so good. I feel like starters have just been taken over in Sword and Shield rank competitive battles. You've just been seeing a bunch of starters. Incineroar, Cinderace, Inteleon, Rillaboom. Wait till the what's called come in here. The Sinnoh, not the Sinnoh stars, the Hoenn starters. Then three, the Skeptile, Blaziken, and Swamper. Oh, that's going to be lovely. That's going to be lovely. Real boom pops out. Come on, man. What you want? And Paloops comes back out. Is Grassy Surge over? I feel like it ends very, very soon. Definitely got to go into a max knuckle here. Get that attack boost and fake out Paloops. I'm not dealing with you, Paloops. I'm not dealing with you, Paloops. Maybe I should have picked out the Incineroar. But I feel like uh, Paloops is just sashed and he's going to go for a Hurricane. I feel like this was our bet. Don't withdraw. Are oh, you hunko junk? You hunko junk. I mean, you're going into Ferrothorn still, right? Okay, so fighting will still be super effective. I'll take that all day. And Paloops protects, yo. What's your name? Pelipper, knock it off, dude. Fake out gets blocked. So Max Knuckles is going to come in here. Max Knuckles is going to help us out here. Get him. Get him, man. Now I have to choice ban. Knowing all the Pokemon on the field, I have to choice ban here. So, probably not Bullet Punch. Pick up X Scissor. But I need somebody to take out that Ferret. So, maybe Superpower might be our best bet. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be a tough move to choose from. Hmm. We still have to search for one more turn. If we have to search for one more turn, I'm gonna be happy. If not, I don't know. We are Soul Fested, so I think we can eat up a Hurricane. Well, it's not raining anymore either, so. That's lovely. It's just dandy. Okay, so we're sitting here. I could go for a dual wing beat as well, but I think superpowers are best bet. What's the accuracy on this thing? Lowers your attack and defensive stats. Hmm. I think this is our best bet, man. Take out Firethorn with it. And drop a wood hammer over on you. Actually, I know he's gonna be sash, so I might as well just go into a straight grassy glide. Don't take no recoil damage. Super power comes out. Connects. Take him out, dude. I need you to take him out. Okay, we take him out. We are minus one on the defense and attack board now. So I gotta hope another superpower can take out the Incinemor. Big old damage, but he's gonna minus one us again. He's gonna fake us out. Leave me alone. Grassy glide coming out here. Nice damage, Grassy Glide. So comes out. Okay. Okay. I think he was doing that for the Ferrothorn. That might just help us out here. Up against the Rillaboom. Or not the Rillaboom, the Incineroar. Another Grassy Guy will take out Pelipper, but I think he's going to protect. I think Pelipper protects you. Right? Pelipper protects? I'm doubling up on the Incineroar. Get him. Get him. Take him out. Take him out. I'm going to knock off his item. I don't want him getting a berry and eating up again, you know? He's going to fake us out. E. That's at least knock off the item. He does not protect, but Roboom knocks off the item. Yeet. What item you have? You have a berry? Do you have a berry? Yeah, your figgy berry's gone. Hurricane comes out. Oh, and it connects. And it connects, man. No! This one might be closer than I think it might. That, than I thought it would be. As a grassy guy, we'll take that out. I don't want to go for... I gotta go for a grassy guy. I gotta get this Pelper out of the way. Hopefully he doesn't protect this turn. Don't you protect. Don't you do me dirty, man. Okay, he doesn't protect. Grassy guy will take out Pelipper. 
Of course it doesn't. A minus one. And now he bruises back up. Are you serious, man? Ah. I think it's because he changed our typing, so it's not stab anymore. Bruh. Bruh, 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 bruh. That is gonna be game. That is gonna be game. I'm just gonna run it here. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna run it here. It's gonna be GG. We got one and two with this team. Almost had that second battle and almost had this third and final battle. But yo, had tons of fun with the rain team. I absolutely love them. We had some close battles in today's video. I'm glad we got our first win in the first battle. And the, the other two battles were actually really good battles. Just ended up losing them. But seriously, yo, I've been loving the new rain Pokemon such as Palitoad and Kingdra. They've been so much fun to play and gave us a little bit of variety when using rain teams. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Just look at the little title of the, uh, of the team. It just says subscribe. That's what you guys should do. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.